Okay, 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 okay. Book, book it, baby! What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Turtlehead. Last episode was kind of a slow start uh, exposition and uh, figuring out things and uh, looking for clues and such. But things might be picking up in this episode. I don't want to promise too much, but we're continuing from where we left off last time. Hey, Harriet, where are you? You can hear Emma shouting from nearby. Really? Okay. Don't mind me, my silly butt was uh, trying to uh, figure something out. I don't know. She's not in here. Did she go off this way? She's not in here. She went up the stairs, I know. So, up there? The door to the basement is locked. Basement? Oh, that's going downstairs. All right, that makes sense. The, uh, the whole shading to indicate it's going down instead of up. You don't need to go. Well, then where do I go? Oh, wait. What about where... You know what? Check all the rooms just in case. There she is! There you are, Harriet. I've been looking all over for you. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. I wish we could stay longer, but Mason was would probably throw another fit. Let's go find him and go home. Perfect! Except it won't be that easy. Un... Because the game just got started. So obviously it won't be... Oh. Oh dear. What? Hey Harriet, was this always here? I don't believe this. There's chains all around the handles. Huh? You sure Mason went through here earlier? I swear, if that idiot's trying to prank me, I won't forgive him. Um, I'll go around from upstairs and see if I can find him. Good luck. Don't die. Just wait for us outside, and I'm sure it'll only take a second. Okay. Gladly. Because I don't want to die. The door won't open. Looking through the window, you can see that there are chains around the handles on the outside. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Lights have gone darky. Sounds of sparkies. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can hide. There's enough room for a person to fit inside. Why can't I do it? I wanna do... I suppose there's not really anything to be afraid of just yet. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Should I go through here? Try it. The doors are locked. Okay. What about in here? The door is locked also. Hmm. Where do I go then? I suppose upstairs. Oh. That doesn't sound good. This room is small and completely pitch black. There's no point in searching in there without a light source. Perfect. Okay. Be brave, Harriet. Check out all the things. There's something written here. It looks like a page from a diary. Read it? Yeah, sure, why not? The other day, I was getting ready to leave. I spotted an unfamiliar man standing at the end of the hall. I didn't get a good look at him as he was so far away, but the instant his head turned towards me, he took off running. Of course I gave chase, but I lost track of the guy fast. I let the other faculty know about it, and we called the police. Unfortunately, they couldn't find him after a long search of the area. I don't know what he was doing here, but I... But what I find the most troubling was... When I saw him, he was standing outside of Miss Lily's classroom. 
as if he had just come out of it. None of us know if this incident has anything to do with what happened earlier this year, or if it was just a coincidence. Either way, I'm going to be more alert from now on. Good for you, teacher man, or woman. Gender was not identified, but it's all good. I'm going to just search around. Desk drawer is locked. But what about that thing? Oh, what about this thing? Cabinet is filled with view books and school supplies. Okay. So it's not a hidey spot. Oh, it's fine. That is fine. The door won't open. There's a wire tied around the doorknob. Ooh. A trap, perhaps? Should check on Emma and Mason. Okay, so you want me to go downstairs first. Uh-oh. Masky man is laughing. Oh, God. Not Mason. Mason be dead and getting crunchy. Hi! I'm... I'm gonna run. I'm running. I'm running. You can't catch me? No! Don't! No! Uh, no! That was fast. Okay. Okay, so... So now we're back to where we was before we met our inevitable death. So let's go ahead and save. And uh, make sure that uh, we're a little quicker than last time. The handles are chained on the other side of the door. Lovely. So I have to see Murder Death Boy and try and run. Crunch, crunch. Why is he going crunch, crunch? No, I don't want to do anything with anything to do with you. Oh, don't catch me. Stop catching me. Can we get this over with? I want to see about. Run. Run. Oh, why? Why he's so fast? That's not cool. I, I see keys and a med kit. What do I do? I gotta run. No! How, do, do I do I have a sprint mode? Oh, I do. That's why he's catching me so fast. Poopy. All right. Hopefully, I can do this quick. Okay, 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 okay. Book, book it, baby! Ah, he's right on my butt! Damn it! Book it! Book it, 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 book it. Come on. Hide inside the locker. Yes. Okay. I can't see Doodly Dick. Yeah. Yeah. He's rummaging around. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm hidden very well. I'm gonna be quiet. Be so quiet while you sneak and chuckle like a bastard. Don't you dare. Just run away. Just run away like the turd you are. He did. He ran. And he dropped a key. Oh. You're getting sloppy, turtle head. A desk key. Go ahead. Okay, so I can't hide when I don't need to. But, I got there just in time this time. And, uh, yeah. So, what desk will this open? And should I go back to investigate Mason? I don't know. 
just in case. I'm going to go ahead and boom, boom, bump. All right, so we're good. We're on to the next phase of not dying, hopefully. I don't know how bad it's going to be. Let's check on Emma since she's actually alive still. Bob! Harriet, thank God you're all right. You saw him, right? The man in the mask? And what he did to Mason. We need to get out of here, now. What, the exit is sealed off? What are we supposed to do? We fight. Huh? You'll look for another way out, but that man is still wandering around. It's too dangerous. But I guess there isn't anything we can do about it. I'm sorry, I want to go with you, but I'm too afraid to go back out there. I'll hide in here while you try and find a way out of the building. All right. You just hide and I will do all the legwork. There's a flashlight on the desk. It doesn't have any batteries. There's no reason to take... Oh, you stupid... Take that. There's a key on the table. Classroom key. Perfect. Okay. First aid kit is on the wall. There's not much you can do with it now. Because I didn't get slashed or anything. Uh, oh, or, or murderfied. Like poor Mason here. Mason isn't moving. Yeah, that usually doesn't happen when you're dead. What about coming through here? Oh, yeah, they're chained up. So, there's not much else to do in here. What about going through here? Because, oh yeah, the, there's wire tied on it. One of these doors is locked. Not these ones. It was, it was the one at the end of the hall, right here. No, that's the one that's too dark to see in. Was it downstairs? It was downstairs, wasn't it? Okay, so, let's go downstairs, find that locked door that, uh, wait, was there a locked door? I don't know. Maybe we haven't found it yet. Go up the stairs. There's a radio crackling. All right, so here's the key to the classroom that I needed. What's this? A chalkboard pointer? Can I use it as a weapon, or is it a... Is it for, like, a puzzle? It's probably a puzzle. Okay, so... Go through here. There's a lot of writing. Read? Yeah. There have been a lot of rumors among the students lately. Supposedly, during the late hours of the night, people have claimed to see an oddly shaped figure standing at some of the windows. In addition to that, some have said that you can hear the sounds of someone screaming from the inside. Of course, at first... It I didn't believe any of this. It was likely that everyone was just scared and paranoid after everything that's happened. What's happened? This is the first I've heard of it, and I'm a student here. But now I really don't know what to think. The other day I was having a drink with Sam. He told me that when he was driving home from his graveyard shift the night before, he saw someone standing at the window on the top floor of the school. Sam has always been the no-nonsense type, so I don't doubt what he says. And considering the time he says he saw this, there shouldn't have been anyone in the building. Not even the custodian. If what Sam saw wasn't just his mind playing tricks on him, then... That should have been then. Does that mean that there's actually been someone wandering around the school every night? But if that's true... Then what the hell are those sounds people have been hearing? Screams of death murder, probably. Don't ambush me, you masked bitch. <sighs> I'm going to be checking all the lockers. Oh, God. A door with blood splatters on it. That's always just so great to see. Used the classroom key. Oh, so it's basically a skeleton key of sorts. There's a piece of paper sticking out between some books. See you soon. Not cool. Not cool, bro. Playing head games like that. 
with a young innocent child. Let's go ahead and save. And uh, we're going to call this an episode. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. Hope to see you in the next one. If you liked this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be nice.